Hello tenor saxes, this is hot cross buns. Now, this is our first time that we've had a half note. Now, a half note is a note that lasts for two beats. One sound that we stretch across two beats. So let's figure out the clapping and the counting first. This note here, it's in the E space, but because the center is not filled in, we call it a white note, which is a half note. It is going to be two beats. Oops. So we're going to say one dash two. The next half note takes up the next two beats. Now we're not going to call it one, two. Every single measure, we have to have four beats. So here we have one, two. The next two beats are going to be three, four. This right here is another half note. Again, you tell it's a half note because it's empty in the middle. So again, we're gonna call it one, two. This little hat here is a half rest. It is gonna be two beats of silence. So we'll put those in parentheses. This pair of measures is exactly the same as this pair of measures. Half note. One sound, two beats. This half note is also one sound, two beats. This half note right here is one sound, two beats. And the half rest is two beats of silence. Now we're back to our quarter notes. You can really see the difference. These ones are colored in and they are called our black notes. These are our half notes. So these are just called one, two, three, four. We say our ands in the middle to keep us nice and steady. Same thing here. Two, three, four. Then half note, half note, half note, half rest. Let's clap and count it. Get our metronomes ready. All right. When we clap our half notes, we're gonna squeeze our hands and roll across. You ready? One, two, set, and count. One, two, three, four. 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 One and two and three and four and one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four. Now let's try it again. Make sure that when you clap your half note, you clap on the beginning of the beat, slide across, don't clap on that second sound or second beat. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Those rests are very important. When we play hot cross buns, the silence is just as important as the sound. Make sure that your silence begins on beat three. Now let's do our letter names. One and two and ready, go. E, D, C, rest, rest. E, D, C, rest, rest. Rest. C, 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 C. D, 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 D. E, D, C. Now, a lot of my students were asking, okay, I get when I clap it across, I'm holding my hands, but how do I make that happen in my instrument? Well, I make a sizzle on the beginning of the sound. And I use my air to stretch it across for two beats. So listen. One, two, ready. So your air 
here is what stretches the sound for those two beats. Remember, your tongue starts every sound. Find your sweet spot. And our first note is E. I should probably stand on the other side so I don't block the music. All right. One and two and set and. A lot of fun but there are so many little details in here be very careful every single note start with your tongue and make sure that every single time you tongue your air stays nice and long and steady let's play it again one two set <gasps> we like to do is we like to go faster and faster and faster and faster. This is a song that is perfect for playing with your metronome. Right now I'm at 72. I can move my metronome up little by little, maybe four or five clicks each time, and then I can go faster and play it again, and then go a little faster and play it again until all of a sudden I'm going crazy fast and having a lot of fun. However, as soon as you make one wrong note, you have to stop and go back a little slower and get it perfect. Because if you practice it fast and sloppy, no one's gonna wanna hear it. Slow, medium, and fast, and then make it a challenge and see how fast can I play hot cross buns? Your metronome goes up pretty high. Let me know. Have fun, guys.